be talking to y'all about money maps and where you might be located on this money map. So let's get into it. Okay, so there's basically four different quadrants on um, this money map. There's E, there is S, there is B, and there is I. What does this stand for, Gabriel? Let me answer that question, viewer, you, you, YouTube viewer, you. E stands for employee. S stands for small business. B stands for big business, and I stands for investor. Uh, a good book to check out if you want to learn more about financial education and to basically educate your, yourself more on financial terms and the basic understanding of money and how it's made and the different sources of money, check out Robert Kiyosaki, also known as Rich Dad. The category of E, employment. In the E category, it is someone who's looking for a safe, secure job with good pay and excellent benefits. Basically, the number one thing that people in the E category are worried about is security. They want to know how much they're getting paid every week, every month. They want predictability in their lives. So they go to a job that tells them they get paid however much an hour so that they can put it in their finances and they know how much they're getting paid. There's nothing wrong with that, but I will say it's not a good long-term plan for being financially independent. Then we get into the S category. The S category stands for small business owner. And the core values of the S category is someone that wants something done right. So this is usually someone that tends to be very well off on their own. They're very independent. They can do a lot of things themselves. So they end up getting into a small business, creating a business for themselves, which is very entrepreneurial and very good for them. But what they don't realize is that there's a lot of stresses and worries that comes with small businesses as you all do it yourself. When you own a small business, all that pressure is on your shoulders. And whether or not your employees get paid, that's on you. Whether or not you get paid, that's on you. Whether or not your business is failing or succeeding, well, that's on you. And that can be a lot of pressure. Uh, a lot of people in the small business category tend to work more hours than people in the E category. And um, to be completely honest with you, it could be a huge success or a huge bust, but it is a lot more work. And it's for people that tend to be very go, go, go with uh, their lives. The core value for someone in the S category would be independence because these people don't take nothing from no one. They don't want bosses. They don't want to go into a job that they hate. Clear up any confusion. Yes, commission only jobs do count as S category um, as you are an independent contractor and you are basically in charge of making your own money, making your own sales. So if you have a commission based job, you can consider yourself in the S category as a small business owner. The B, now we're getting onto the correct side of the money map. People who are in the E category and the S category, well there's nothing wrong with that. But I will say that people in the E category and the S category make drastically a lot less money than people who are in the B category and the I category. And that's not because people in the B and I category work any harder than people who are in the E and the S. Actually, most times people who are an employee or a small business owner work their faces off 10 times harder than people who are in the B and the I. But working hard doesn't always guarantee you more money. Sometimes that just means you're working harder and you may not be getting paid what you're worth. So understanding this money map and how it works and where you're located is going to help you a lot because when you find out where you're located, whether it's in the E or the S or wherever you are, then you know where you are and you know where you want to go. People in the B category are people who are looking for the best people to join their team. They are team oriented people. They may not even be the best at doing something. But these people are very good at finding people who are good at doing things that they may not be very good at and recruiting them onto their side to work with them. The core value for people in the B category is wealth building. They're focused on finding people who have strengths where they are weak and they're focused on finding people that work well and good together. They understand when you have 10 people on a team versus one or two people on a team, you're gonna get 10 times the amount of results because you have 10 times as many people working towards the same goal, residually, passively, which means when you eat, shit, and sleep, constantly 24 seven, there's money going into your bank account. This is what the B category is all about, that residual paycheck, that passive income paycheck. 
um, people who are selling things online are in the B category because it's duplicatable. Um, it can duplicate on its own and it doesn't need you there. They have a whole crew, a whole team of people that are doing multitudes of different things. And that's how they're able to get so much done. Hence the name Big Business because they have a whole team of people working towards one goal. And the last category, the last quadrant on the money map is the I, the investor. This is my personal favorite as, well, you make your money work for yourself. Because I'll tell you one thing, money does not get tired. You can go out there and you can try to work as many hours as you want at whatever job you're working at. You can be working 60, 70, 80 hours a week, but there's a, there's a limit to how much you can work. There's a limit to how much money you can make when you're going out there and you're putting in the time and you're putting in the work physically. You're gonna get tired eventually and you're gonna get sick of it and you're gonna to have to slow down eventually. So people in the I category invest their money that they already have into other things such as stocks, portfolios, cryptocurrencies, real estate, whatever it is, they invest their money into other things that will appreciate and raise in value. So they're basically making their money work for them instead of working for their money. People in the I category are investing their money into things that can make them more money. Their money could double, triple, or maybe 25 times. It, it's unpredictable, really. People in the I category's values are, what's my return on investment? And that's a question you should ask yourself every single day, whether or not it's money related or not. Whenever you choose to do an action, ask yourself, what's my ROI? Even if you're stuck at a job right now, I completely get it. But what you can start to do is you can start to implement the mindset of people in the B and the I category and start to think with their mindset. People in the I category are focused on what is my return on investment. They're focused on financial freedom. And I want you to take that question and I want you to think about that question very often throughout the day, even if it's not money related. Let's say you're going to the gym. I want you to ask yourself, what's my return on investment? What am I getting out of this? Well, you're getting a healthier body. Well, what's my return on investment if I eat a cheeseburger or if I eat a salad? If I read a book or if I don't read a book and I go watch YouTube, what's my return on investment? Hey, you may be stuck in the category of employment or maybe small business and you feel stuck right now because you feel like you can't make the move to B or I. But what you can do to slowly start working your way there is you can start implementing the same mindset the same way of thinking into your mind so that you can start thinking like a big business owner, so that you can start thinking like an investor, and then you will start to attract that reality of a big business owner and of an investor. When you start to think like an investor and a big business owner, then naturally the universe has to give you the environment that a big business owner and an investor would have around them. So it starts out with small steps. and I would suggest if you want to move into the B or the I category, away from the E and the S, the crappy employment, small business, oh, no one wants that, right? Then you got to start thinking in terms of, I'm looking for the best people to join my team. You got you to gotta search for people. Your social circle will determine everything about you. How you think, how you behave, how you talk, health, love, love, happiness is all determined by your social circle. We are, we are animalistic beings. Monkey see, monkey do, man. When you see your buddy drinking a beer, you want to go drink a beer. When you see your friend smoking a cigarette, you want to go smoke a cigarette. When you see your friend working out and going to the gym and reading books, you want to work out, go to the gym and read some books. Because we are, we are wired that way. We're wired to fit into the environment. We're wired to adapt. So when you force yourself to bring in people into your social circle that are in your best interest, again, thinking, who's the best people to join my team? then you start to think like a big business owner and you start to surround yourself with like-minded people and then it's not only you. Now you, have, now you have four or five people that have the same mindset as you and you now have duplication on your side. And that duplication will help you make more money. And when you finally get that money and you have that capital, that investment, 
to start putting in money into investments. Now you're an investor. You can be an investor for five dollars. You can go buy cryptocurrency right now. You can go. You can go buy cannabis stocks. The Aurora cannabis stock is like seven, eight dollars. I know people who spend more money on weed than that every single day. Yet they won't spend less money on that for a cannabis stock, something that could bring them a bigger return on investment than just feeling good for one night and party. So you got to think like an investor. What's my return on investment, and how can I surround myself with the best team players? Think like a baseball player. You want to have an all-star team. You don't want to have the best outfield players and then crappy infield players because if the ball gets hit to third base, you're screwed. And then you're going to lose the game. And games can be won by one point or two. It can be very close, even by inches, by seconds. So that's it for the video. That's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that down below and hit the bell for post notifications. Make sure to like my video. It gets my views up. You know what I mean? You help me out. Help the boy out. Fist bump. Thank you. And make sure to drop me a comment down below because I will be commenting back to every single person who takes the time and attention to comment on my videos. And as always, I'll see you next time. Stay blessed, manifest the best, and peace and love.